पास में देखें इसलिए हमें फैकल्टी अंडर के टी यू टूडे लेटर स्कैन गो थ्रू दी एनर्जी ऑडिटिंग फिफ्थ मॉड्यूल सो इन दिस बेसिकली इंक्लूड्स ऑडिटिंग डिटेल वंस वी आर कंसीडरिंग एन इंडस्ट्री द कॉमनली वी आर गोइंग टू दी ऑडिटिंग सो व्हाट आर द स्टेप्स लेटर टू दी ऑडिट एनर्जी ऑडिटिंग एंड आर दोस थिंग्स हियर वी नीड टू डिस्कस सो एनर्जी ऑडिट इज द की टू ए सिस्टमैटिक अप्रोच फॉर डिसीजन मेकिंग इन द एरिया ऑफ एनर्जी मैनेजमेंट सो व्हाइल वी आर कंसीडरिंग एन एनर्जी सिस्टम दैट मींस एन इंडस्ट्री द if you are going to we are going to the auditing then there we need to make some decisions okay so the that decisions we can choose on a systematic way so that means energy auditing is a systematic approach for decision making in the area of energy management it attempts to balance the total energy inputs with the its use and serves to identify are the energy streams in a facility so if you are going through the auditing then are the energy related topics we can explain okay so if you are going through the auditing then we will get the are the details related to the energy systems according to energy conservation act 2001 energy audit is defined as verification monitoring and analysis of use of energy including submission of technical report containing recommendations for improving energy efficiency with the cost benefit analysis that means if we are doing the energy auditing then we the, then there will be verification monitoring and analysis of use of energy including submission of technical reports so the uh, the auditor will come into the industry and he will make the verification monitoring and analysis related to that industry okay so after that he can make a technical report and that technical uh, that technical report totally based on the post benefit analysis okay so those all are included under energy auditing next topic that is need for energy audit why we are going through the audit okay in any industry the three top operating expenses are often found to be in any industry the three top operating expenses are often found to be energy labor and material so out of all these three costs the cost related to the energy that is somehow manageable today as compared to labor and material cost in that there be not we, there be we cannot make that much variations or that much changes but in case of energy there are different techniques which we can follow in order to reduce the cost of that energy we are considering an industry the three top operating costs that they are energy material and labor so out of in all these three costs the managing of energy that is more easy as compared to labor and materials so why we are going through the energy auditing why we are going for energy auditing in case of an industry the three main operating costs they are they are three main operating costs they are energy energy comma materials and the last one that is labor so out of all these three costs the managing of energy that is more far better as compared to material and labor so that's why it is better to go through the energy quality 
Next, we can go through the type of energy project. Depends on function and type of industry and the depth to which final audit is needed and the magnitude of cost reduction desired. On that basis, there are two types of energy audit, which are the preliminary audit and the detailed audit. So that means if the industry that is a big one, then automatically we need to think about a detailed audit. Why? Because a small amount of energy wastage corresponding to that big industry, that's a considerable thing only. So that's why there we are going through the detailed audit. And the function of that industry. Okay, if a better and a big industry if we are considering, then commonly we are thinking about detailed audit. Similarly, the another point which we are considering for selecting the audit that is depth to which final audit is needed. So that means if you are going through the preliminary audit, we only require a smart time interval or smart time durations are required for preliminary auditing. Instead of that, if we are going through the detailed auditing, we need a particular time period in order to com complete that detailed auditing. But if we are going through the detailed auditing, then the complete data related to that industry, complete data related to the energy usage in that industry that is we have getting. Instead of that detailed audit, if you are going through the preliminary auditing, then we will get a vague data of that energy usage in that industry that is only we have getting. So that is different. Preliminary means it is only a preliminary detail. We have getting only a preliminary detail. Instead of that, if we are going detailed auditing, auditing, then more clarifications we have getting. Okay, so that is the difference for the preliminary audit. So energy auditing, basically we can classify as two types, which are the detailed audit and the one is preliminary audit. So in which situations commonly we are going to the preliminary auditing. So establish if we are going to the preliminary audit, then we can establish energy consumption in the organization so the what are the or which are all the main energy consumption related to that industry so it is we can quickly find it out if you are going the preliminary auditing so energy consumption related to an industry if we, if we need to get quickly then it is better to go through the preliminary auditing similarly we can estimate the scope for saving okay is there any scope for saving for that industry it is we can easily find it out with the help of preliminary auditing. If there will be scope for saving, then we can go through the detailed auditing. Okay, so before conducting the detailed auditing, in some other cases, we can make the preliminary auditing. So doing that, we can find it out is there any scope for saving for that industry. Okay, is there any scope for energy saving for that industry? That is, we can find it out if we are going through the preliminary audit. Similarly, Im identify immediate improvements for an industry. Is there any immediate improvements we can make it out or not? So that's also we can find out if you are going through the preliminary auditing. And also identify areas for more detailed study or measurement. Okay, in some situations there we need to make more study and then measurement we need to take it out. So at that time also it is better to go through the preliminary auditing. So, in case of detailed auditing, there will be a comprehensive 10 step methodology. That means, actually, in case of detailed auditing, there are commonly we are considering 10 steps. Are those 10 steps including under any of these? Are those 10 steps are including in these three phases? That means, Basically, the detailed energy auditing day, we can divide into three phases. That means pre-audit phase, second one is audit phase and the third one is post-audit phase. So that means before auditing, before conducting auditing, there we need to consider a few points or few steps. And also after conducting auditing, there are also few steps which we need to conduct it all. 
Okay, so basically the detailed energy auditing is having three phases, which are the pre-audit phase, audit phase, and the post-audit phase. Energy manager and energy auditor may follow these steps to start with and add or change as per their needs and industry types. Okay, so on the basis of type of industry, they can add or change in that steps. Anyhow, commonly there will be 10 step methodology for detailed auditing. So that 10 steps which we need to explain. That 10 steps which we need to discuss. So those 10 steps are included under these three phases. Okay. Steps of detailed auditing. So these are the two steps of detailed auditing. That is step 1 and step 2. They are coming under pre-audit phase. I told you that in case of detailed auditing, there are three phases. There are the pre-audit phase, audit phase and the post-audit phase. So under pre-audit phase, there are two steps. There are the step 1 and the step 2. Okay. So in case of audit phase, uh, step 3 to step 9 includes. And in case of post audit phase, it includes step 10. Okay, so in case of pre audit phase, there are two steps which are the step 1 and step 2. In case of detailed auditing, if we are going through the step 1, then we can make some plan and organize an informal meeting with the energy managers. Okay, so the auditor needed to talk or you need to make some discussions and a collaboration. You need to make a collaboration with the energy board, energy manager. Okay, so they are coming under step one. Okay, so there will be a walkthrough audit and informal interview with energy managers, plan and organize. These are happening if you are going to the step one. So, what is the benefit of doing the step one? Then we can make a resource planning, establish or organize an energy audit team. Then automatically, definitely we need to make an energy audit team. Okay, in order to analyze, in order to monitor and verify for all those requirements, they need a set of team from the industry. Okay, so they can set it out with the help of step one and organize instruments and time frame they, they, they have to get some instruments there why because they have to collect the, collect the information from the industry so for that they have to require some instruments and they need a set of time frame okay so that all they can set it out with the help of step one familiarization of process activities and what are the activities is going on through the on that industry that's also we'll get it, it out if you are going to the step one, so auditor will get it all this information, okay, and they can make some informal meetings and all those things happening if you are going to the step one. After that, conduct of brief meeting or awareness program with all divisional heads and persons concerned. So that is happening in case of step two. So in case of step one, an informal meeting and some talks. That's only. Happen. But in case of step 2, there will be a brief meeting and there will be awareness program related to energy auditing that they can make it out. So that's why they can make a building up cooperation. That means they can get the cooperation from the industry. Next we can go to the audit phase. So under audit phase, step 3, step 4, step 5, step 6, step 7, 7 step 8, step 9 in goals. So in this step 3, what actually happening? Primary data gathering, process flow diagram and energy utility diagram. So through all this we are going. Okay, so there will be data they, they, that we have getting. So that is like process flow diagram, energy utility diagram. So going through that, we will get all the historic data analysis. We can make it out. And prepare process for charts. Okay. Design comma operating data and and schedule of operation. Okay. So all the historic data analysis and the process for chart preparation, those are we can make with the help of 
step 3. Okay, so there will be data gathering that is what we need to make it under step 3. Next, we can okay, go through this step 4 conduct survey and monitor. Conduct survey and monitor. So, with the help of instruments, we can make the, some measurements. Okay, so on that basis, the exact value of data. Okay, that is we have getting. Okay, on that basis, we can make the analysis. So, in case of step 5, conduct of detailed trials. Okay, so we can make some trials or experiments that after that 24 hours process monitoring like uh, maximum demand or factor those are we can find it out okay by making some trials and what will be the load variations load variation variation trends in pumps and fans compressors etc okay so in that what will be the load variations so that's also we can note it out okay that means the analyzing portions so that's coming under step 5 and analysis, the total analysis that is coming under step 6 analysis of energy use. Okay, so after making the trials, we can go through the analysis sections. So, energy and material balance in the energy loss and where the waste is occurring and how to manage the waste, they are we can make it under step 5 analysis of energy use for that particular industry. Step 7. So, in this step 7, identification and development of energy conservation. So, identification and consolidation of energy conservation measures. Okay, so related to the energy conservation, what are the parameters which we can move it up? Okay, move it move in front of the system. Okay, so that's coming under step 7. And step 8, it is totally discussing about the cost benefit analysis okay if we have two projects out of those two projects which one will be the most cost effective one of the cost benefit analysis on that basis we can give which will be having least cost okay that means the economic analysis also mentioned that is the step a so uh, assess technical feasibility economic viability prioritization of energy conservation options and selecting most promising projects so out of different projects on the basis of economic viability and prioritization of energy conservation options so we can choose it out okay so they are coming under step a that means on the basis of post benefit analysis what are the ideas which we can implement in that system okay so in case of the audit phase the last step that is step 9 in that reporting and presenting to the top management after uh, making a detailed document then that reporting into the top management okay so the energy auditor can make the reporting and the presentation to the top management that is happening under step 9 documentation and the report presentation to the top management so that's all coming under step 9 okay so after making a detailed analysis and verification they can put the report in front of the top management so that is coming under step 9 so up to step 9 includes under phase 2 and the last step is phase 3 last step belonging under phase 3 okay so phase 3 only one step that is step done so that is includes implementation and follow up okay after uh, conducting auditing they will get some ideas okay so the ideas they have to implement it okay so assist and implement okay energy conservation recommendation measures and monitor okay so they are coming under step 10 okay so after conducting energy auditing they will get some ideas they are those ideas they have to implement so for that the energy auditor will assist the energy managers okay and they can implement those ideas after that they have to go through the follow-up and the periodic review okay so these are all the main steps of energy auditing so it is very important to you people 